here. We got some news for him in a little bit, but it's film review day. So be sure to tune in. Stay tuned for the remainder of the program. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I've got my guy Wayne. Wayne, how you doing, my guy? I'm doing good, man. I'm, 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 I'm. My spirits are up. My spirits are up. You know what I'm That's saying? That's perfect. So, That's all good. we want to hear. Spirits up. Positive, positive energy now. For but sure. uh, I can already see everybody coming in. Got to give a shout out to everybody that's tuning in right now. Terror Dome, Hurricane Seven Seven Four, Nine One Six Forty Nine er, Nine er Gang Podcast, James Matthew, Ben, and everybody else that's here. Guys, before we start the program, break down the film, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put it up on the screen in a minute. Got to make sure everybody who's here go tune in to Wayne's new channel. Unfortunately, over the weekend, some idiot went and hacked Wayne's channel. So make sure you guys go tune in, subscribe to the new channel. Let's get that up, and let's continue to rise. Uh, get get those subscribers up because Wayne's about to. He's coming close. He has over 400 already. Let's try and get him to a thousand and. At the same time, I'm trying to get to a thousand as well. So let's try and build both these platforms up. We appreciate all the support as always. But how are you ready to knock down this film, Wayne? Well, before we get to the film, because I'm excited to watch it, it'll be my first time actually watching the film. I watched the game a few times, haven't seen the film yet, so this is going to be cool. Um, I just want to let everybody gonna be know cool. it's going to be. It's I know, be disgusting, I know, but like, I, yeah. I know. I, I know, I know, especially on both sides. Even in I'm glad we're not even watching special teams, right? But no, we're doing some giveaways, right? And so uh, oh, you're yeah. giving away a uh, Christian McCaffrey jersey, all right, uh, to those that um, uh, do what you have going on. Make sure you check that out. So you can go ahead and announce that. And also, if I get to 750 subscribers on today, if I get to 750 today, I'm going to be giving away my, my man Steve. He's going to be giving away uh, something very cool. So make sure you guys subscribe today. Make sure you post a picture of it, whatever. And we're going to do a giveaway on tomorrow's Wayne Breezy show. Okay. If you're available, you're more than welcome because to, the title of tomorrow's show. I might show, have to pull up. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow's show is called Debo Has Mind Control Over the Rams. You're going to want to be there for that one, dog. <laughs> that one's going to be turned. That one's going to be turned. I already know. But guys, for those of you that didn't hear it, one more time, I'm giving away a Christian McCaffrey jersey. I'm about to send the Twitter link to where you got to follow the instructions in the chat. That's just sent out in the chat. Make sure you go check out that Twitter link. There are three things you got to do. Give me a comment down in that thread as well to show that you've entered the giveaway. It's a signed Christian McCaffrey jersey. Uh, obviously, that was when Wayne hit that 5K last week on that stream. We're giving away that signed jersey. Make sure you subscribe to me, subscribe to Wayne, and we're going to get that down. And make sure you hit him to 750, man. That 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 giveaway is going to be fun as well. And then on top of that, on top of that, Coach Cruz said if he gets to 1,000, he's going to give away. So so Steve is giving away a signed Brandon Ayuk jersey. And then on okay. top of that, Coach Cruz said if we get to 1,000 today, then we'll give away a sign 11 by uh what is it, 11 by 14 or something like that Debo Samuel sign autograph picture so we give us okay. some way and then by the bye week if i'm up to a thousand by the bye week let's say we don't do it today i'm giving away a sign Talanoa Hufunga mini helmet there so we go you away. heard it all here man we're giving it away you heard it all here but enough for the giveaways now be sure to check out the links in the chat we're going to be getting down down and down and dirty pretty much straight to the film so it's gonna be a fun uh not not so fun but it's gonna be important for you guys to understand what really went down in this game right the 49ers were in it it was 16 to 14 at halftime uh the 49ers are just down or sorry it was 14 to 13 49ers are just down a point could have gone up but a couple of missed opportunities but we're gonna get right into it right now Lego. remember how the 49ers always start Always with those scripted plays, they normally come to fruition. They normally get to work. 
And so you're going to start off with this first drive. It's not Christian McCaffrey. It's Jeff Wilson Jr. in the backfield. And it's a nice cutback. You're going to get a couple of yards, about seven yards out of this first play. Mm -hmm. Good, good play here from the 49ers. It's, it's in a way the opposite of what they did before. You motion Wilson out to the, uh, into the backfield. Then you're going to motion Kittle to the other side. You've seen the 49ers attempt to do outside zone and then cut back in. This was the opposite, right? It was somewhat of an in, uh, somewhat of an inside zone, cut back to the outside, get seven yards, a good amount of uh, a good amount of yardage on that first play. Yeah, look, I'm. I, it, it's a good play, right? It's an executed play, but that I, for for me, it's not the Shanahan. It's not what was you know getting us to those victories, you know. And I understand he's trying to run the ball and secure the ball, but I kind of think that we should give. You know, get Jimmy Garoppolo in a rhythm early with a bunch of throws and then go back to running the game, like running the ball. And those when we did it like that, Rohan, we were successful. We were actually winning games. And so now that we're trying to run the ball, it's just a little bit different. And so you'll see what happens later on as this progresses. I think that that's a fair argument. I just also think <clears throat> with the way that you know that your run game, at least with McCaffrey, I think the run game is going to see uh, great dividends. 100%. With McCaffrey there, I think that you you do want to establish the run because it's you, you're probably going to have more impact with McCaffrey on the run than the passing game initially. And so the run could open up the pass. That's obviously what Shanahan loves to do. But he implements the pass here. A nice hit to George Kittle, um, who's running a, a stick route from the, from the tight end position. And you get a first down just like that. Yep. And, and and this is what you want it. It's just like like I agree with the the normal theory of what you're saying. You know, run the ball, establish the run, but and then throw second. But if you get Jimmy Garoppolo in a rhythm earlier, like he tends to play better. I don't, I, and that's what I'm thinking. Like that's the trend that I've seen mm -hmm. so far, especially this season. Jimmy Garoppolo mm -hmm. plays better when you when he's throwing first. Yeah, we're going to back this one up because this is the first kind of big execution move of the day. Uh, that's a that's a ball fake there to Christian McCaffrey, and Garoppolo has Kittle open and just mm. airs him. He just misses here. You're going to see on this replay, uh, if it was unclear, how Garoppolo missed. It, it's a, a, a lot of receivers were open. This is a good play from Kyle Shanahan because you have Kittle lined up on a linebacker. Or this might be a safety. You've got Ayuk on a crosser over the middle of the field. So read number two would have been open. But Kittle gets separation. He's open. Garoppolo just has to layer this throw, put it uh, on the outside of Kittle, and instead of high, and that's a catch. Instead, it's too high, and now you have second and ten. There it is. Oh, look at the motion. All right, Kittle. Here we go. This is McCaffrey's first carry, I believe, of the game. Juice. Another good, it's Juice. another good play call here from Kyle Shanahan. That cutback and McCaffrey is just explosive, man. Yeah, the halfback cutback runs are something that this offensive line likes to push for. They more struggle with the dives or the or the gut plays, right? And it's just mm -hmm. like you know, you got to get look, look at our running backs, man. Look at the way that they run. Look at this. Look at his step. He did the same thing in the video game. Watch this cut. It's I'm yeah. <laughs> just the ability to cut, like cut and just keep going downhill yes, rather sir. than having to come to a jerk and stop. Yes, sir. Talent. Christian McCaffrey is going to be special in this offense. Yes, sir. And it's some it that's one play where I've been very, very impressed with Kyle Shanahan this year in that he's had to add that extra wrinkle to the offense because the regular inside zone just doesn't work, like you were saying. So he's had to add that wrinkle to account for Jeff Wilson Jr.'s limitations, and it's created chunk plays. That's how the 49ers were able to operate with the uh, running the football earlier in the year because Jeff Wilson Jr. got those 40-yard plays, those 30-yard plays that really helped out. And so that, that was the difference really early on in running the football. Now you can be able to get those chunk plays consistently with a guy like McCaffrey. Yeah. And And – I just didn't understand. I mean, we know what happens in the game, right? I just I just don't understand like why are you going away from this? Now, this is the scripted drive, guys. So, it's the first the first and foremost, guys. This drive is scripted, right? <laughs> yeah. You're going to see another another good run here from Jeff Wilson Jr., probably the biggest run of the game so far. Obviously, you have the lead blockers. You 
Uh, Spencer Burford here has to hold his ground. You've got Juszczyk who's going to come along, and then you're able to get uh, the guys out to the second level, and mm-hmm. Jeff Wilson Jr. ends up going to the 20-yard line. So pretty darn good run again. Very good run. Very good run. Now here is where – you know, you're going to see some of those mistakes. Uh, not on this play, but after this. The 49ers obviously got in the red zone. But if, if you guys remember, they only scored a field goal on this first drive. That was the issue with the 49ers, not turning those field goals into touchdowns. Correct. So good call here from Kyle Shanahan on the screenplay. And before we continue, Wayne, I want to say this one point. I don't know if you'll agree with me or not. A lot of people are disappointed that Kyle Shanahan's calling screenplays, specifically in this game. I saw a couple of comments on Twitter. Really? To me, that couldn't be further from the truth. To me, a screenplay is just an uh, an advanced version of a run. And Steve yeah. Spagnolo, this defense is one of the most aggressive defenses in the NFL. They love sending pressure after the quarterback. They love making the quarterback uncomfortable. And so how do you counter that? You need screenplays to counter that and – because you get players open in space against man-on-man coverage blocking if blocking works it's a seven eight yard gain and if you're getting seven eight yards on a run play you're going to be ecstatic right in general screen plays don't have to be these 20 yard gains every time you get seven eight you're setting up yourself good on second down yeah I, i guys screens negate that pass rush for example uh third and 20 on defense yeah okay I'll leave it at that. I know this is offensive breakdown, and we'll leave it there. Yeah, this is Kyle Shanahan's first questionable play call of the day. You're going to see how this one goes out. It's a toss to Debo Samuel. It goes absolutely nowhere. And I'll tell you why it's questionable on the second walkthrough. When you look at the play call, George Kittle stacked to this left side, but you're going to see the amount of Kansas City defenders stacked – sorry, stacked to the right, but the Kansas City – Defenders, look where they are. They They shift. shift. You've got one, two, three, four, five. Five bodies on this side with one on the second level. So Williams has the edge rusher. Banks has the guy in front of him. Brendel's got this guy. But the problem is 38 here is left untouched. And so he's just got a one-on-one alley. And maybe Kyle Shanahan trusts Debo Samuel to make make it uh, a missed tackle. But in a way, that's too much to, 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 to overcome. And that's why I'm not really that ecstatic about that play. Sets up from second and two to now third and four. So third and four, here we go. The 49ers have a chance. It's man-on-man coverage. Like I said, that's what you're going to see. And unfortunately, Brandon Ayuk drops the football. Yeah. Um, And that's a drop. And Brandon Ayuk knows it's a drop. And, you know, at the end of the game, you know, he makes the statement. We, We, you know. We're more talented. And this is what I'm talking about. You know, you got the step on your guy. So what the defender is draped all over you, like catch the ball. Make that catch. Yeah. And I mean, this is what I was talking about on Twitter earlier. This I said the skill position players for the 49ers are overrated. And when I said Mm -hmm. that, I don't mean in terms of talent. I just mean in terms of they're dropping the football this year at like at a higher rate than normal. And it's not only Debo Samuel. Many people just point to, oh, Debo has a high drop rate, but Brandon Ayuk and everybody are not. No, George Kittle has dropped the football. Brandon Ayuk has dropped the football. And these smaller execution woos, when they consistently pile up over the course of a game, you're making it harder on yourselves when you already have a quarterback that is bound to make a, a couple of mistakes per game. So you can't be able to, you can't drop the football on third and four when you're close to a touchdown and got a first, would have gotten a first down out of that. That's Great unfortunate. Point. Great point. Second drive now, the 49ers were able to get a field goal on drive number one. You're going to see, I believe this is Tyrene Davis Price, first carry. Uh, of the game, and I, I think he only got two carries, but yeah, Tyrion Davis Price gets the carry here. He gets six. He's able to hit the edge, and so I, I'd be excited when this becomes McCaffrey because of his speed, but good run here by Davis Price uh, to hit the edge uh, and get out there. Good blocking, too. Uh, and yeah, he's able to hit the edge. Good job running behind Trent Williams. You get six yards. Awesome. Awesome. Hi, right, it's SF Mission. Thank you for copping one of the, the hats from residency, man. We appreciate you over here. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. I'm trying to figure out what, like, you know. What are you trying to figure out? Well, go back and play this concept again, because I'm, I'm just trying to see who's open. Oh, this one? Yeah. 
I like this. So you're going to see the play action here. The play action there. Good play action. And then good step. Debo Samuel with a great catch. catch. Yeah. Again, remember, this defense is aggressive. Play action is going to force them to come closer down to the line of scrimmage, leaving one-on-one concepts outside. You're going to see uh, the the play action here. It's going to set up nice one-on-one. And, yeah, the ball is high, but Debo Samuel is able to make that catch. He's open enough. You fire it to him, uh, allow him to stop, and it's a first down. You're already within the 10-yard line once again. Yeah, man, the 49ers are driving. You can see them up three, and this is this is the scoring drive. This is the touchdown drive. So let's see how it pans out. Let's see if there was a, of how they made it work. Tyrion Davis Price got another carry here. He yeah, gets a couple of yards on this play. I, I'm telling you, bro. Like <laughs> the game, the, the, this is what made me frustrated about with this game because it was like the 49ers offense was doing what they needed to do against this, this Kansas yeah. City's defense, right? But then they stopped attacking the, the secondary. That's their weakness. They stopped. It's just the execution issues once again that continue to plague the 49ers. Now this what the this title is a touchdown. Like this, this, this play, not this play. Whenever yeah. I, I can't see it. Yeah, this was the one to McLeod where uh, this was the touchdown play where okay. Garoppolo hit McLeod. Yeah, this, yeah, you're right. This should not have been a touchdown when you look at it. it should though. not have been a touchdown. Garoppolo first read is uh, George Kittle. He does George a good Kittle. job of stepping up in the pocket. But he does. Kittle is neutralized here by number 35. Uh, call it a hold if you may. Then he's looking over the middle to Ayuk, trying to figure something out. Scrambling, scrambling. Should probably not have thrown that football. That I would very say well could have been an interception. Out. Yeah, like, but, it's uh, like it's like Ray Ray bailed him out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Wow, what a bailout. Shout out to Ray Ray. That's that's veteranship saying I gotta go help my quarterback out. Yeah, and especially because he wasn't even looking at the ball when it was thrown, able to navigate it, get that touchdown. First and ten. Hits Ayuk, but this ball is behind him. This is just a Jimmy miss. Ayuk has wide open space in front of him. You're gonna see it here. There will be nobody here when Ayuk comes because of the McCaffrey route. Or not the McCaffrey route, sorry. Uh, no, uh, I didn't see, but there's, this is a good concept here by the 49ers. When you go back, the Debo Samuel route's going to clear out space for Brandon Ayuk. It's going to draw this linebacker. Uh, the McCaffrey route draws this linebacker a little back. And this is open space for Brandon Ayuk. That ball is just behind him. Hmm. Mulberry group holes. Thank you so much, man. Yep, I still have access to the Cash App too, by the way. Hey, shout out to the chat, man. Chat be chat be nice today. See this. So this is Jimmy. Why are we still throwing balls behind guys? Balls behind open guys. You didn't have That's to add that issue. context in there, but yes, even worse. <laughs> if it's wide open. Just throw it to where they can catch it. This is a good run. I'll yeah, this is a good Debo run. I'll take that. Debo had two runs for four yards. I I'll take it, though. But again, Rohan, I think it's time to let these runs go. I rather. I see... think the only place where you should see these runs is if McCaffrey's in the backfield as well. When you're running Because now you're forcing the, the defense. You get what I'm saying? The defense has to pick their poison. And which yeah. one is the decoy? Let them freaking think. I think that, that, I think that was the main reason why they brought in Christian McCaffrey. Like Kyle mm -hmm. needs these defenses to think a little bit more. Exactly. So I, I'm hoping that when McCaffrey is implemented a little more, because I understand that zone reads obviously take timing and Correct. a little bit more uh, building with the offense. So 100%. hopefully when, when he's incorporated more, we see that a little more. But a good throw here from Garoppolo to Brandon Ayuk. Similar concept from before that slant route over the middle. You're gonna get a, a get a first down here, man. Keep the offense moving. Now this is an interesting concept, Wayne. Um, I just I, I like this matchup here at the bottom. You've got number six, Danny Gray. This man is what man. I mean about Steve Spagnolo not giving not he doesn't care about his cornerbacks like that. You have a single high, mm -hmm. eight in the Everyone. box, mm -hmm. one on one. 
mm-hmm. one-on-one. Man so coverage, you, bro. Yeah, it's just straight-up man coverage, and this guy is playing press against a fast, uh, fast receiver. Fortunately, here's where the penalty started on offense for the 49ers. <sighs> it was a false start here. Who was that on? McGlinchey. Uh, yeah. That was I on McGlinchey. So. I think that's the one time I turned and looked at the television, and I was like, come on, Mike. And then ev- after that, he went downhill. His game went downhill. Yeah, definitely. It's like, dude, the 49ers find ways to beat themselves, yo. Mm -hmm. No, and I was talking with Johnny Dell yesterday. It's like bad play after bad play after bad play that results in these these games slipping away. Yes, sir. It's a problem because every player has to execute. and. Unfortunately, there's one player or maybe two players or how many ever that don't execute on one play. A play can go to perfection and one block can be missed and the 49ers can lose out on that drive. Everybody has to execute and that hasn't been a recurring theme. Here's the first Christian McCaffrey screen and you're just able to see what he's able to do with the football, man. He has he's vision, special. Bro. He he's has special. Really, really good vision. Really good vision. Yeah, he's special, man. Juice is in motion. And, and you know another run from McCaffrey. That's that is something that started you with the block seen. from Juice, though. And we're gonna You're miss right. juice. You're right. Damn. But that patience from McCaffrey to allow that juice block to develop, that's really nice because that gets you an extra couple of yards. If he continues to run, I don't know if uh, Juice is able to make that full block without his blocker disengaging. Juice pushes them out of the way. McCaffrey's patient. And that's how you get 10 yards on that play rather Ooh. than four or five. You better talk your talk, dog. This is an talk open play talk, here. Dog. And unfortunately, it's aired. I think Brandon Ayuk was a little frustrated right here, man. You think so? Is that the one he picked his foot up? Is that the play? So he's open right here, but Garoppolo, uh, this this rusher here forces Garoppolo to throw it Oh, here. my God. Oh, my gosh. It's a little so high. Br- did you see Brandon Ayuk? Was Brandon Ayuk open up to the left of the top of the, the screen? Yeah. I think normally Jeez. you go high. You At least in the, in the progression, you go high-low. But uh, obviously, this is that TE, uh, the the play where they always set up for the tight end. Uh, it's a fine play. You get a couple of yards. But uh, I Yeah, but you could have had a first down and possibly a touchdown. Are you still yep, on that same that play? That free rusher really killed that one. Yeah. No, now second and seven. And this is and just you throw it to him and he, Yeah. Like, so it's like you run the same play, and then this time you do throw it to Brendan Ayuk, but he's not open. This is the no, I mean, if you throw it, if you throw it on time, I mean, if he throws a good ball here, I is able to turn nah. up, and he's probably going to get three yards out of this. I don't know. Be- well, 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 you're right. If it's a good ball, just looking at the way the ball was thrown, ball's thrown to his foot, and like, he's this and is- then he's facing like right there, like the you saw when Brandon Ayuk was facing him, the yeah. ball should have hit Brandon Ayuk right in the face hands. Yeah, then, uh, then he I, think here, I think this is George Karloftis here. He's able to get a piece of it. That's why that ball. Okay. Say, uh, that, that's why that ball goes like it is. Okay. But it's a screen play. You've got to be able to to throw it over the defender. That cannot be batted at the line of scrimmage. And now you're setting up third and seven for what could be another field goal opportunity, which you don't want. And this is one of the worst plays that Jim <sighs> Garoppolo has in this game. Taking sacks. You are in field goal range. You cannot get yourself sacked out of field goal range. That's How are you getting sacked and shotgun, and you're you have you're taking extra space anyway. Yeah, it's it's inexcusable. I mean, Chris Jones does a good job here on McGlinchey as he did all game, but uh, it's unfortunate. Just backs him up, and this is just a because this was the play I believe Wayne where they set up for a field goal. And then Jalen Moore had that false start. Yes. So the 49ers did did not alignment. (laughs) They did that. That's what, that's what I'm talking about, about the bad after bad after bad, because that bad play led to another bad play, which was all started because that free rusher came by and not allowing Garoppolo to hit Brandon Ayuk on that crosser. 
Well, then the question is, when does the bad play stop? Like, like, so when do you like negate that? And that's what the 49ers have to figure out. They got to figure out how to get right by negating that. All right, we got a penalty. No problem. Shake it off. Let's do something positive. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's uh-huh. where the coaching comes in and tries to dial up the best positive play, you know, after getting a penalty. It's just unfortunate the 49ers start on first down. They get a first down. Then it's a hold. Now it's first and 20 opposed to first and 10 after gaining the yards. I get it. Mark says, why does he walk like like, what, like that? Oh, I was like I was supposed to block you. I don't know. Mike McGlinchey is funny, man. Mike McGlinchey is funny. Mike McGlinchey wasn't having a good game. and Yeah. But second down, good job by Kyle Shanahan again. You get that uh, tight end on linebacker matchup. That's that's just always a positive for, obviously, Jimmy Garoppolo. Um, that motion shifts this safety out here, which means that this is going to be open space for George Kittle, and that's mm-hmm. exactly what happens. Good play here from Kyle Shanahan. You're I want to get yourself out of a hole. Did everybody see the difference? And that and that ball placement, like he put it right into yeah. where he was running into his hands. That's what Jimmy has to get more accurate with. Even on that Brandon Ayuk drop earlier, I felt like Brandon Ayuk should have caught that. But if the ball was, you're right, it could have been better placement. But overall, yeah. if if a receiver has that on his hands, like you they got to catch it. Gotta I don't care it. if the person is draped on your back. Then they need to sell the flag. I think every 49er player needs to go to acting school. How to draw flags 101. This is, is this crazy. This a bad play here. This is crazy. All right. So he takes the deep shot here. Let's let's run this back just uh just a quick second. So you've got the motion again. So you're going to fake that it's a run here. But uh, going deep for Gray. I don't really route from Gray. I think he's too – you got you to gotta push a little more. Uh, otherwise, I, I it's going to be a Gray contested get ball. Yet, man. I'm not – like, as a, as a decoy, okay. But trying to get the ball to him, it's just not his time yet. And I think it's just because of the Jimmy Garoppolo offense. Yeah. I would like to see it, Gray it's just do check down like screens or something. Get him get him the ball. Let's see what he can do with the ball in space, right? Mm-hmm. No, I mean it, it it is like if it's one on one, that's fine. But Danny Gray there the safety help was there. But a good recovery from Garoppolo. It's second and fifteen. You're gonna be able to hit George Kittle over the middle and progress. This is the second read on the play, too. Good job and a clean pocket there as well. So uh, a good job by the offensive line being able to set up that play. We didn't see that a lot, right? We didn't see when when the when there were a lot of elongated plays that the the pocket was able to be um, obviously sufficient. Good point, Rohan. Good point. You see, this is a look where Debo in the backfield, no, for that for that fake, but it's Rohan. a nice play regardless. Brandon Ayuk able to get open one on one coverage. You're gonna burn that one on one coverage every time. That's Every time. time. And the reason this sets up, you're going to see, this is the reason it sets up. This is why that Shanahan offense is so good. That motion to Debo Samuel erases that second safety. Then it becomes single high, and Juan Thornhill here can't, he can't collapse on it as quick as possible. Sure. He's in coverage. He's he's responsible for the entirety of the field. Justin Reed is erased by Debo Samuel running that motion. Far, I don't know about you, Wayne, but I have had an issue with pretty much only one play call thus far. Uh, it was that play call at, on the very first uh, drive, wasn't it? Yeah, Samuel, the pitch. That was the one play the call pitch. so far that I've had an issue with because yeah, I don't like I mean, that and one. This is a good but... exercise. You know what, Rohan? You, we just figured something out. I know what we're going to do every week. Okay. We're going to go through the plays and then decide if these were bad or good play calls. From Well, the bad, we'll focus on the bad play calls. Right, right. Let's do that. I, 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 Terra Dome, you know, I, I hate, I, I detest the toss. Like, I, I get it out of here. It doesn't work. 
That's you funny. know why we don't have most dirt speed. It was different when You're it was right. most. No, you need you need an outside. You need a guy to to be able to hit the outside zone, and that's why Jeff Wilson Jr. can't run the toss. The only guy probably right now that can run it is McCaffrey, and so we'll see if I don't that even want him running it. <laughs> He's what a four but, four eight. Elijah Mitchell, yeah. I think, was with a four four something. So Mitchell ran it too, but I didn't like when he did it. I like Easy McCaffrey. Says Danny Gray. Yeah, he says Danny Gray doesn't sell his route. The defender knows where he's going every time. And this is why I don't necessarily uh, – when Ka- when a lot of people say, why isn't Danny Gray in, that this is, is one of the reasons why I say why Danny Gray is in. I, I got to watch him during training camp, and he's raw. He 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 could be a good talent in a couple of years. But in my opinion, he's raw. That's why I'm not mad when Danny Gray isn't on the field. But I think that anytime Danny Gray's running one of those routes that – where he is a, a primary read, that should go to Brandon Ayuk. That's the way that okay. I see it because Brandon Ayuk is able to actually get separation, able to sell that, able to have good releases, and you're going to be able to get him open on those plays. Good point. But moving forward here, uh, a nice run here to Christian McCaffrey, who was able to squeeze his way through, get about five yards on the play. Uh, another nice run here from McCaffrey. He had eight carries, I believe, for 48 yards uh, or so on uh, in his debut. I thought Christian McCaffrey should have got more carries. Call me crazy. Uh, but it just didn't seem like Kyle Shanahan was trying to necessarily win this game. I, I like, it, like, And sometimes it'd be like that. I just felt like Kyle wasn't doing what he did. I mean, look, I didn't think. Up until the second half, I thought this game could have easily been ours. You get into yeah. that second half, next thing you know, like they just blew the top, the space, the top off the spaceship. Yeah, they just did. We made crazy penalties, crazy errors, turnovers, and we still put up points. But clearly, we couldn't stop, you know, anything. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. And I mean, I think that that's also why Christian McCaffrey didn't get carries because he wasn't seen in the two minute. That's what they probably ran when they were down two scores in the second half. Uh, Hopefully he gets a good amount more, obviously, this week. This is a play that here's I'm going to pin this one on Jimmy Garoppolo, in my opinion. Okay. so Garoppolo understands that there's a free rusher coming. This isn't his blind side. This is the side that he can see. George Kittle's coming out of his break. This area here is wide open, and he's the number one read. You see Garoppolo even mm-hmm. looking like he's going to throw this football. If he puts it here in f- uh, behind this defender in front of Kittle, this is a catch and a first down in the red zone. But Garoppolo pumps and takes the sack because he doesn't want to take that hit. You've got to be able to release that bar, and you've got to be able to take that hit. That was the issue, especially with the way Steve Spagnolo calls his defenses. You're going to get hit. You he essentially bailed and he didn't take the hit. That's uh that that ball has to be thrown because it's a good route, a good concept, and you're getting your guy open. You know, it's funny because I, I feel like this might have been the most aggressive play caller we've played so far. Hundred um, percent. Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, you know, Steve is just that guy. I mean, we we all know about him. Um, and it's just unfortunate. Like three times, we didn't yeah. match their aggression, bro. That that's what it was. The offense couldn't match their aggression. No, I mean that that type of play is inexcusable. And this is where you're going to start seeing the bad after bad after bad, right? Because what happens after Garoppolo takes this sack on this play? Um, here you'll see it. I believe I remember uh, this drive. We did get punked, bro. We got punked. We got suckered. We got we got bullied. How about that? We got bullied. Yeah. yeah. And this is another incompletion here. And uh this here right here was on um sorry. This is where the Jalen Moore penalty happened on this drive. So that right there was third and 14. Just for context, that Garoppolo mix, miss right there, that was on second and 15 at the Kansas City 33-yard line. If Garoppolo is able to complete that pass, or sorry, at the 29, if Garoppolo is able to complete that pass, you're in the red zone. Instead, you're now at Kansas City's like 35-yard line, 
which is already a 52 yard field goal for Robbie Gould. And then you're not able to complete that pass, that false start happened, and you punt. This is a series of bad plays after bad plays after bad plays, causing the 49ers to lose out on yet another scoring opportunity. You have the miss by Gar- or the, the choice not to throw by Garoppolo. Mm-hmm. Then you have the, the obviously him taking the sack. Then you have the false drop by Jalen Moore, forcing the 49ers to punt. Jeez. And now, after the after the muff, here is probably the worst offensive drive of the day. I'm trying to tell you, bro, this was tough. I mean, you got you got you had one quarter of 49er football. You watched the defense start to wither away. It was so close at the half. Now, and it's the second half, and we're just like, oh my gosh. See, I didn't agree with these play calls. Like Kyle Shanahan, like these runs up the gut. You knew the team. I'm okay with them for the sole reason that they do kill time off the clock when you are in a position of game control. I didn't think that they, okay. I didn't think we were in much of position, but uh, okay. I I mean, I'm because it's 14, it's 14 to 13 now, right? And okay, I thought this was the second half. I'm sorry. I thought we were already into the second half. All right, so Debo's down there. Is this where we're about to – no. Oh, this is the interception. So here we go. I, yeah, this is the bad Garoppolo, obviously, yeah, this, on third down. Interception. And I get what you're saying. At that moment, you're. I am okay with that. But look at this throw. <laughs> this is a, just a horrific throw. This is like – this is inexcusable. I, I don't understand it. He said he was trying to hit George Kittle. Throw some damn force on the ball if you're trying to hit George Kittle. That's that's inexcusable. Yeah, Jeff but the Wolf reason that this is inexcusable. Open. Watch 22. So guys that don't know, this play call, the that's running the back is called the hot read. Yep. He's running a choice route, but he is the hot read. When he is open, you throw him the football. He Garoppolo understands this. Don't don't let's not act like no. Garoppolo. This is a brand new play call. They yes. ran this in 2019 against Arizona. They've they run this several touchdown. times this season. Yeah, yes. Jeff Wilson Jr. got exactly this play on the left side for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. Garoppolo here is looking specifically at George Kittle, and when the pressure comes, he doesn't step up and make that throw real quick. Instead, he backpedals and flails throwing it off his back foot. Hit you Jeff Wilson Jr. this play. Go to this throw if you're a quarterback and you know it's a zero blitz. You exactly. automatically go exactly. to your hot. You are it's automatic though, Rohan. It's not something the issue you is about. Yeah, I don't it's, care if it's, Jeff Wilson Jr. drops it. You automatically go to your hot route and the zero blitz. Look at the defense. They he knows it's a zero blitz. And the part, guess what? Garoppolo is looking this way. He understands this cornerback is blitzing. As soon as you know this cornerback is blitzing, it's cover zero blitz. As soon as you see this, you and you've got to hit Jeff Wilson Jr. immediately. And this, maybe he doesn't throw it again. Maybe he just takes the sack. And even if he takes the sack, that's fine because the clock is running. You get another opportunity. Instead, this is an interception at the most inopportune time possible. And the 49ers miss out on a touchdown. We were on the five yard line. That's a touchdown. You've got to get that ball in the end zone. Jeez. So guys, you have to understand. It's really, really, and you have to. I want, I want y'all to understand what we're saying as far as that coverage. And so, like Jimmy, you know, you expect him to know. Oh, pull it back. You know, he's counting. He's looking at the. He he sees the cornerback. Look at this. You're gonna see number twenty two right here. there. He's gonna edge, bro. And Jimmy Garoppolo is gonna eye number twenty two in the face. As number 22 is rushing. When this guy rushes, you know that it's a cover zero blitz because he's the one safety that's coming off. He could have covered Kittle. This means that one receiver's open. Why? Because you have one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're only 
you've got a mat, you've got a mismatch. You've got opportunities on the field. This is a Steve Spagnolo classic on top of that because he loves calling these cover zero blitzes to try and get as much pressure on the quarterback as possible. Last week against Josh Allen, it didn't work because Josh Allen's able to uh, just fire that football. Against Jimmy Garoppolo, he flinched and he threw it through a pick. It's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's not now he, we're at the he, second. It's not here. even about his release. It's yeah. it's the fact that he didn't even recognize the play. You get that's why mm-hmm. we're heated. He didn't even recognize it. Yeah, no, it's it's a poor it's a poor decision from Garoppolo, and really something that shouldn't happen. Now the 49ers come back out of the second half. Chiefs got the ball first. They scored a touchdown. It's 21-13 at this point here. And McCaffrey is going to get swallowed up here behind the line for a loss. Second and long, not something you want really coming out of the half. Chiefs obviously stack the box. They have eight in the box here. Try to run it. But uh, here. But so, so we're not going to question the play call here then? I think you can. But I honestly think if Juszczyk makes this block, this is a run. Because you're going to see this hole on this side. I personally think if Juszczyk is able to make this block, McCaffrey has a free lane and that's seven yards. But here, everybody else executes on this play. I'll, I'll show the front angle. It might be a little bit of a better angle. I think trying to run with eight in a box, man, I think that's a bit dangerous, right? And so, I don't think so. I don't think so. Because if you, I, I, if you say think, that... But I say that on this team only because everybody has to execute like perfectly. And so there's but other that's, things. That's, you the, can... that's the point of an NFL. I think you you should be able to execute. The re- but, but if there are eight can. in the box. Yeah, if we have problems executing, bro, that's why we get stopped in the fucking backfield every fucking time we try to fucking run the ball. That's my point. Well, then what? So what then you what's negate the it with a screenplay. You do something different, like easily. You could have did a, a a tight end screen on that same in that same formation. No, you're and- right, Wayne. You're right. But then there are people that are clamoring that you're going away from the run, and that's the reason you lose. Football Who gives games. a fuck what the people clamor about, bro? I'm sorry, this is your channel, not mine. Who cares? That's cool. They, but they, look, they, here's they here's what I say. You by any means necessary. Fuck us. And do what works. Like at the end of the day, Kyle, because because a second and ten is is not easy to it's not easy to succeed on second and ten. You're hundred percent right. But here's what I say: you have an all pro fullback. You have to make this block Ag- and have agreed. This- agreed, agreed. Big freaking Brendel is making a good block. Agreed. And this lane should be open. And this is at agreed. least going to get you here. That's at least five yards on this play. But agreed. instead, since that block isn't made. You've got this whole lane here that's erased because that block isn't made. That stops McCaffrey, and then the the backside guys are gonna come. Agreed. But my issue is we're down by eight points, and and you need to you need to you're, okay. Can you push pause? Because I I don't want you to. We're down by eight, and mm-hmm. you're now you're getting ready to go toe to toe with Patrick Mahomes. Right, mm-hmm. so that means you gotta right. score on this drive. If you don't score on this drive, game's over. Which the game was over, like literally, we didn't score on this drive. No, you're, right. you're right. You're right. You're right. So, so do something that's gonna catch them off guard, opposed to they're putting eight in the box. They're trying to take away the run. You're like th- th- this is the Kyle Shanahan that I'm like, dude. Th- I know you. I know it can work. We know it can work. Everybody's got to do what they got to do. But if they don't and it doesn't work, you can be stopped for a loss. You can fumble the ball or or it's second and long, You're right? And so, Kyle. Here's what I'll say, though, Wayne, to that. Eight in the box means you're still going to face pressure if it's a pass play, if it's a play action. This offensive line is better at run blocking than pass protection. I didn't ask for a play action. If you're dropping back, it's still going to be. I mean, it's regardless, what that running you back get the ball out of your hand in point two seconds, it's a screen. Set up a guy who's gonna be open. They're rushing. Throw the ball to the guy. Let the let the, let your playmakers make plays. That's that is not Kyle Shanahan. I'm sorry, that's not it's not. That is Jimmy Garoppolo's football. That is Jimmy Garoppolo's football. One on one. I'm just gonna get the ball in my hand to my playmaker because I'm not a good quarterback, but I will, can be a good quarterback because they can make a one yard catch into a ten yard gain. That that's it. Mm-hmm. That's it. I yeah. don't care if you call screens 100% of the game. If that's what's working, then don't fix They Don't try to fix it. 
And I'm, I'm, I, no. I want us to run. I just didn't understand that run right up the gut. Do another creative run. You know what I'm saying? Do something to the opposite side. Do something different is what I'm saying. But you're right. Execution. Juice check. Got to make the block. Hands down. We, we, yep. we scrutinize everybody. He's going to get it too. Good ca- oh, he dropped it. <laughs> he dropped it. He dropped and it. so here's another. This is, again, the theory of bad play after bad play after bad play. Cal Juszczyk misses a block that erases five yards. You've got second. <laughs> Another, this is the concept the 49ers ran on the opposite side of the field in the first half to IU. Okay. And it worked. Okay. Now, Jimmy Garoppolo's got a wide open pass and he throws it behind Debo Samuel, hits the hands. He got to catch that football still. I know, but he does. He's got to catch you it. You got to put it in front that's, and you got to catch that football regardless. That's the that's, rule, bro. You touched it, you catch it. Uh, it's right there. It's right there. I even understand why Garoppolo put it here. If he puts it in front, front it could Samuel be might get laid out. Samuel yeah. might get laid out. It might be a pick, and Debo drops that football. Another oh issue on execution here. You got third and ten. It's definitely. I put it like this: it's way more execution errors than it was coaching errors. I'll put it like that. I think so too. I think so too. But this is a good play. Is able to convert here on third down. Juice makes up for his error. Two that's that's where he got hurt. That's where he got hurt. He broke his finger. Yeah, this that. is where he broke his finger, right? Because uh, he was trying to stiff arm, and then. Uh, Got caught, I believe, in somebody's helmet. Yeah. yeah Wasn't he like third and helmet. seven or something? And he ended up getting the first down. Yeah, it was third and ten. He got the first down. He got 10. like 20 yards on that play. Uh speaking of juice, juice will be out for the next game, guys, just in case you yeah. didn't know. So guess who won't be blocking for Christian McCaffrey? This boy can cut. Jeff Wilson. That's a can nice play eight. here. This that was a, a really great nice, cut. It's one of those cutbacks. Another nice play, man. You can't tell me that wasn't a great cut. A great cut, yo. That's this is his bread and butter, though. This and the routes that you just talked about earlier. Yeah, that choice route or Texas route. That is Jeff Wilson Jr. bread and butter. That even looked like a Texas route run. Like if you like the 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 angle, I call him an angle route. I, it's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That was a great run by Jeff Wilson Jr. Great blocking, too, by the offensive line. They tried it now, again. Now, you try it again. You're going to get about, uh, I think it was one yard on this on this play. This was an interesting thing. This is, I believe, a tight end. And then you have Jeff Wilson Jr. here. Can we tell who that is? Is that Dwelly? I can't. It's yep. Dwelly, I believe. Dwelly. Yeah. They used, right, Dwelly as a, uh, they used Dwelly as a fullback in the offseason. But this is one of their uh, one of their misdirection plays trying to get it. Uh, up the middle, get about a yard on that play. So Dwelly or TDP at fullback this week? I don't know. I think uh, we could see either, right? TDP, obviously. I, I prefer TDP because you at least have him as a rushing threat. You better uh, bro, um, listen. I'm with you. I'm, I'm with you. Like, I, I prefer but... TDP or even CMC. Uh, CMC and uh, uh, Jeff Wilson or CMC and Debo. Just keep the running back. Be creative. On the Yes, creative. That's, that's where I have to question our coach. What happened to the creativity? I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the pass here because it was CMC's first week. You probably don't implement it. No, but no, no, I'm not just with CMC. Cre- just period in general. Where's my reverses? Mm-hmm. Where are my jet sweeps? Where are my where's my where's my creativity? Like that's all yeah. I'm saying. I, and I agree with you. I I I wouldn't have overworked CMC. You worked him back in. I tell you right now, though, that boy. That man CMC as having a full week of practice. I know, I know Sean McVay is probably like shaking in his boots, dog. He is. I, I wrote an article today. Sean McVay, his reaction was, oh shit. That was his reaction. <laughs> I ain't get a chance to read it. I'll read it after we finish. Well, I'm about to I'll, I'm gonna do some Madden today, so I'm gonna read it after we finish. <laughs> yeah, but here's another nice cut from uh Jeff Wilson Jr. here. It's a good run. This is a good front to run on. Why? The 49ers are doing a lot of motion. That's going to put number 29 here and number 23. They're two cornerbacks just in a, in a loop. And so you have a five-man front, but you don't have anybody here over the middle of the field. And now with Debo Samuel out, they essentially get the middle of the field for that running hole. This is going to get 10 yards. Good play by Kyle Shanahan. Good cut here by Jeff Wilson Jr. for the first down here. Oh man, man, 
Ben, another IU play uh, here. IU is doing really good on these whip routes. Like his route running is really nice. He he, all, he just executes the whip route very well, especially when you give him space. He's out of the slot here. Just uh, a nice a nice route. Uh, I think this one was a stick, but a nice route. You get a couple of quick yards. Like that constitutes four yard play. It's just like a run. Ooh, this one just got blown up. That's Nick Bolton, I believe. Was that CMC? Uh, no, this was Jeff again. Okay. Or no, this might who? Yeah, this was Jeff. This was Jeff. Banks just can't get out there against uh, against the linebacker, and the linebacker comes. Oh, through. he missed. I see. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thanks, missed. Again, this is that one miss execution, right? Uh, you've got McGlinchey holding here. You've got Brunskill. Uh, this is, I believe, Jake Brendel got the first linebacker. Then Banks is trying to get through here uh, while Kittle's going go, uh, to go the, to the edge. But, uh, yeah, that one's just blown up. I love it. Kyle, you, you, you told me. You, you told me. He's you wide, wide receiver he's, one. I hear you. I hear you. Debo's still number one, though. Okay, okay there we go. We got a Debo Jeff Wilson Jr. backfield. And this one is – okay, so this one I've got a couple of thoughts. You're going to see. This was a Kittle drop, uh, and this one was a – this one was a twofold. So Kittle's going to drop that pass. That was third and seven. That drop made it fourth and seven. There was a penalty on that play, which would have made it third and 12, but you lose an opportunity again. That's just a missed execution play. Turns another field goal or turns another potential touchdown drive into a field goal. And now you're down 21 16. And so, what do the Chiefs do? Score another touchdown. You're now down two scores here 28 16. That's when the that's when they just they just blew the cakes off of everything, man. It was just a wrap. And not- this is where you, you struggle, right? To to incorporate the run game on a uh, in a bigger kind of range, yes, sir. Uh, yeah. This was a nice route, though, and a nice play by Garoppolo to step up, which is unfortunate because he didn't do it on the safety, but uh, stepped up in the pocket here. Didn't know that was possible, but uh, a nice play. No, I'm kidding. Nice play here from Garoppolo. <laughs> going to be a nice play by uh, Brennan Ayuk. But you know what happens, Wayne, when we have nice plays? What happens? We have a bad play. So whenever we take a step forward, we take two steps back, correct? Exactly. So that should have really- been a 20-yard gain. 10 yard loss because who held Mike McGlinchey. Damn. So just like last week when Jake Brendel held on that nice uh, uh, that play to Ayuk. Brandon Ayuk. I, Ayuk need to take these linemen out to dinner and be like, what's, what's just, what the you F got is beef wrong? with me? You got beef yeah. with me? Right, on, right. Take them out to a steak dinner, put some big ass tomahawk steaks in front of them and says, now who got beef? Because if y'all want to eat this steak, Y'all gonna have to y'all gonna have to stop holding every time I gotta catch the damn ball. Uh good good play here from Ayuk. Gets enough separation, but a little behind. Ayuk's able to catch it. He's just so good after the catch. They make good route runner, good after catches, the catch. Bro. They make tough catches. Hands haven't been as consistent this year, but he's he's been able to he's been able to just be consistent uh elsewhere, everywhere. So that's a good that's a good sign. Man. And uh this one was a, a nice play. Kittle was held on that play, so holding penalty here. You'll see it on the replay. Uh, this is Legereus need. You get a, a, a on that wheel route in a way that uh, Kittle runs. It's a, it's a fine ball by Garoppolo, but a little underthrown, but that's exactly what causes the PI anyway. So a good play there from Jimmy G. Uh, sorry, from George Kirst down. I hate to agree with Slick, but I agree, man. I, I was going to – I swear to God, Slick, I was going to say – Man, I would want to know what Trey Lance and IU were up to. Like this season would have been electrifying for them too. Oh yeah, once we got to the rhythm, it would have been nice, man. Yeah, it's unfortunate though. And Danny Gray, Danny Gray, I think would be utilized a little bit differently. Yeah, uh, I think so too. I mean, uh, um, I think he he probably would be a little more cool. So Wayne, remember remember what I said two plays ago when Mike McGlinchey, you have a good play, you have another bad play. So Jeff Wilson. Junior's gonna have this huge nice block by Kyle. Uh but, but uh 
Trent Williams hold there, and uh, Debo Samuel has a hold there too. So two holds <laughs> on the same play, and they called they they negated the Trent one and called the Debo one. By the way, yeah. This Dang. one, a little nice play to McCaffrey, and McCaffrey's just now, able to get like I didn't seven see McCaffrey three. step out of bounds, but the ref said he stepped out of bounds. He did, huh? I did not think he stepped out. Let's see. That's what they called. They said they keep Where? going, right? They well before that cut, they said that he stepped out of bounds. That's why they didn't give him all the yards. That's called stepping out of bounds to you, Wayne. No, but that's what they called. They called it. They said they said they they marked the ball there. Look at. Do okay. you see how much how many yards? Wait, we didn't challenge wow. it. Maybe I was watching a different wow. game. Okay. I could have swore that's what I heard and saw. Yeah, that's a an interesting call for sure. Need more screens. Mm-hmm. Another Need quick calls. hitter. Quick hitter to Juwan Jennings. Obviously, you get you you get moving. This is a good like a good way, right? I'm no Offense longer going to be mad at Juwan Jennings, yo, because we we live with Kendrick Bourne for three years. So if we we were able to get through the Kendrick Bourne era, we can we can suffice Juwan Jennings because he makes some really tough third down catches. I knew they said it, Niner Rich. I knew it, VZ. I knew I wasn't going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I swear to goodness, Rohan, they said that he was out of bounds. And I'm like, how? That's weird. Very weird because, I mean, we just shot and we're just two random people. Are you kidding me? They got some cameras out there and they, they really can't see that? All right. Another nice screen play here to Kittle or play action boot to Kittle. Thank you're you, able to get a first down. They're able to just move the ball. This is this was a nice this was a nice drive from Kyle Shanahan. This is going to end up being a touchdown drive, but overall, this is a good drive. Just getting uh, your players out and getting your players kind of, you know, getting the ball in their hands. Another play to IU, great. Right? It, it it did take a while, right? This was, I believe, an eleven, not eleven, uh, an eight play drive, uh, eight play seventy five yard drive. But you're no going to take it every time with the way that the 49ers operate. Another nice route here from uh, from Brandon Ayuk. And now you're going to get up to the, what, 14-yard line? Yeah, but and you this see... this is where we're going to see... Yeah. But this is what I'm talking about, man. It's like the 49ers... Here's the booty boot. This one was a near pick. This one was yeah. very close was. to a pick. Do look like he dropped it. Yeah, it did. He just went straight through his hands. Yeah, it went right through Legereus Sneed's hands. And uh, so luckily that's not a pick, but that could have been an interception and really killed the 49ers straight there. Yeah. So, so far, I think we watched this whole game, Rohan, and I yeah. think we might have one and two possibles of bad play calling. Yeah, no, it's just not, it's not bad play calling. It's just poor execution and really bad plays that stack up on each other uh, that, that, that cause issues really offensively. Hmm. This was a good play. And then another Jeff Wilson Jr. Drop, which is unfortunate. Uh, well, luckily listen, they caught the ball on the next play. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This is going to, to be make the, the nice touchdown here. A big boy catch from George Kittle. That was a really good play. But when you look, someone said rewind it real quick. Uh, look at so. Uh, but yeah, the, I mean, just a regular Jeff Wilson Jr. drop. But here, he said, boy catch the right from, tackle on that last play. Okay, we'll see the right tackle right here. So him and Brunskill are probably in the same area. He looked fine. Yeah, that was fine. And so far, Breezy, like the protection hasn't seemed as bad as people people thought. You know what I mean? It, like it, it's not this. It, it's because Jimmy Garoppolo got sacked three. This is bad. This is bad. This this is where bad. it is bad. But this one, like Trent gets flat out beat uh, on not on this play, but on third down. But yeah, this is bad.
The, okay. This is uh, me and Johnny were talking about this yesterday. Going on the sequence. So how did this drive start? Ray Ray McLeod took this ball five yards out of the end zone. He actually four yards out of the end zone. He took it from the negative four yard line of San Francisco. Then on that play, when he shouldn't have taken it out, there's a holding penalty. That forces 40, the 49ers to start at their five yard line instead of their 25 yard line. Then on top of that, you're going to see in two plays what happens as a result of that the safety. It's just bad play after bad play. It just sucks. It's just like, damn. Here, in my opinion, there you play, you could have set up like something like a screen. You did it to George Kittle last week when you we were in Atlanta, and, and George was able to get you 10 to 12 yards. I, I would have did anything to get out of this position. Yeah. And you're going to see on the next play, I, I, I mean, Trent Williams is to blame, but I don't. Oh, this one's this one was actually really funny. Watch Brendel. Watch Brendel. <laughs> he gets pushed. Like the the running lane for McCaffrey is this lane right here. Okay. But mm. when you look at how this play is burnt or killed because Jake Brendel is just gonna be murdered here by number 99. So McCaffrey is either gonna try and run through here or run through this lane between Brendel and McGlinchey. Look how quick that hole closes, too. Yeah. Because you're going to see nine just shove Jake Brendel back. That forces McCaffrey to stay in the middle. And that's just going to be a loss or a gain of zero. Good point. You got second and five now. You're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> a lovely sack here from Jimmy. This I, I don't understand this one. So, so yeah, protection he hasn't been great. Is the safety next? Man. Yeah, but like I don't understand this. Why are you running up in the pocket? Can somebody? Oh, this... Because you we've have been so asking... much space. You have so because much his... space, and Jimmy thinks, "Wow, because there's a hole here, and because I have amazing limiting athleticism, I'm going to start running." George Kittle comes open here. If you if he progresses through his read, remember, he went through one read on this play. That's Debo Samuel. So naturally, when this number 32 here is tied on to Debo Samuel, there are, in Kyle Shanahan's system, there are two in-breaking routes always on either side. Why centralize this single defender here? When the single defender goes here, George Kittle here is going to be freed up over the middle. And look exactly what happens. Freed up Wide. over the middle. Wide but open. Jimmy starts to run for no reason, and he gets sacked. Another bad play after bad play, bad play. Brendel got killed on dry, uh, play number one. Jimmy takes the sack here on second down, which means it's third and seven at your three yard line, or whatever yard line. Yard line. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like the play is there. You've got to be able to make the play. And now this is this is even more atrocious. So this for, is when for everybody to relive. Gonna get beat. Trent Williams <sighs> gets beat. Jimmy gets sacked. And this is on Trent Williams, but here's what I'll say. This play is going to take a while to develop. Why does he not step up in the pocket? Can somebody tell me that? So, for offensive lineman, when you get beat, the win the rep afterwards is pushing the guy behind you so that your quarterback can step up in the pocket and make one of these three throws. Garoppolo starts bailing before the defender gets there. And then that's where Trent Williams is trying to push Frank Clark away, away from the play so that he can step up. Garoppolo is just going to run right into Frank Clark, or Frank Clark is going to go right into Garoppolo. And that's a safe step up. This is on Trent Williams for getting beat this quick, but step up. And if you step up, receiver that he's looking at right here is open. He's Kyle, gonna, you he's check is wide up. open with one, with, with a missing finger. <laughs> They're open. They're open. Debo Samuel settled, and this is a safety. This wasn't a boot. This was not a bootleg. This was not a, a prepared bootleg. You've 
you got to step up in the pocket here. Why are you coll- why are you running? Step up in the pocket, you throw. I don't understand it from Garoppolo. Trent Williams has a bad play. And to top it, when you see this guy coming at you, throw the damn ball away. I don't understand that right, either. Right there, over 56 head, let it hit the ground. There's a receiver right there yeah, anyway. Throw it away. And Kyle, Kyle check is right there. I'm done. I can't watch no more. It's it's unfortunate. That that was a really, really poor drive. Now it, the, now this game's over. Now it's 44 to 23. This game's over. This is this is where I don't know if Jimmy should get get it there, but um, I think for Wayne's sake, for our sake, we're gonna call that one there. Uh, I I can't uh, watch that anymore because that's an ugly game. Really ugly game. Garoppolo, some issues. Offensive. How did he get so ugly? Is had it, issues. What did Steve? I, you know what? I, I want to know what did Steve do differently. Steve Spagnuolo. What did he do differently from the first half to the second half? Did he start dialing up more pressure? Did he start putting more eight in the box? Like what did he do? Because the 49ers yeah. had a rhythm, and then it got knocked out of rhythm very quickly. Uh, and Jimmy, I'm telling you, he's just a rhythm guy. And if you can knock him off his rhythm and take away the run game, the 49ers don't stand a chance. It doesn't matter who they play. I agree. So here happens, right? In the first half, it's a close game. You end up going into the half losing 13, 14 to 13. Well, the second half, you're down 21, 13 to start. You're already at negative game script, which means you're probably going to have to pass more to get into it. And that was shown with the way that the game started, right? Uh, you saw a lot more passing plays, a lot more quick hitting plays. So what does Steve Spagnolo do? On certain plays, he's going to dial up pressure because he understands that the 49ers need to run an elongated play because got to get 10 yards, 12 yards. It's second and nine. It's second and 12. It's third and seven. It's third and eight. And so what does Steve Spagnolo do? We're going to force Jimmy Garoppolo to make a hero play. Has he made hero plays this season? Yeah. Like that throw to Coleman in week four, week five? He's made some hero plays. But we know that Jimmy Garoppolo likely won't make that on a consistent basis. So we're going to force him to throw that football and take the chance that he likely can't make that play. So you're going, you saw a lot more pressure. You saw free rushers come in. And yeah, the offensive line played bad because certain players, Chris Jones, killed Mike McGlinchey in this game at times in the in pass protection. Like Jake Brendel got beat at times. We saw it. You're all, you're 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 really seeing how the offensive line got beat and they can't sustain for elongated plays. This pass protection is good, but I don't know if he can really sustain in pass protection for five seconds for Jimmy Garoppolo to make a play. And when they do sustain, can Jimmy Garoppolo make that play? There are too many variables Ooh. at times in this game, and Steve Spagnolo called the right buttons. That's why the 49ers lost. And the fact that you said that there were too many, listen, it's so weird, right? Because it's like, is there enough time? That's the offensive line. Can Jimmy make that throw? Then can they catch the throw? Like they're just they're out of sync. Like, and, and so for me, if I'm a head coach and I'm trying to make develop plays, like do plays that are gonna that take time to develop. I'm going to get them in a rhythm. I'm going to find a way to negate that edgy pass rush, that over-aggressive pass rush. And then you, you got to dial up the screens. I don't care if people don't want to see them. If this, it, I'm telling you right, right now, that th- third and 20, third and 20, third and 20, and that kilt. We were down by five points. We needed one stop. Third and 20, Rohan was the stop to get the ball back to your quarterback right. offense. Defense laid an egg, and it was from a screen, a running back screen. Where are running back screens? I don't care if CMC ain't here, been here. They give it to somebody else. Like somebody, mm-hmm. anybody, everybody. Screen. Give it to Debo. Where's Debo's running back screen? Give it to somebody. You can negate the overaggression by screening. I see that they line. That is 100% correct. That is 100% correct. And that's why I'm a little excited about next week. I understand that this loss was terrible. Me too. That's why I'm excited about next week. Because when you see how Christian McCaffrey operated against with a subpar blocking unit and a subpar. I'm not I'm not even kidding you, Wayne. Ben McAdoo and that offensive scheme in Carolina is one of the worst offensive schemes I've watched in week four. That is, the scheme is terrible. 
Mm -hmm. So now having Christian McCaffrey being able to operate in the screen game here against defenses that are going to want to pressure, the Rams run eight in the box consistently against the 49ers. We've seen it with Jimmy Garoppolo. You're going to see more screens this next game. And while they may seem repetitive, like I said at the beginning of the stream when we saw that first Brennan Ayuk screen pass for eight, nine yards, if you were able to get at least five yards, four or five yards on a screen, yeah, would you? Think of, it, think of it this way. Are you happy when your offense gets four or five yards on a run play? Yes, it sets up second and medium, second and second and short, third and medium, third and short. It's the exact same thing with a screen play. I view a screen as just, it's, it's just another run, right? And mm -hmm. because you're essentially playing, putting people in space and making them make a play. So to me, Agreed. I definitely uh, am excited to see what this offense looks like with Christian McCaffrey operating as the, as the number one back. And, and look, we're going to be missing uh, Kyle Juszczyk, but I don't think that's going to hinder the 49ers too much. Uh, I think the 49ers have ways of supplementing uh, Kyle. I know he's great. He's all pro. It's tough to replace, but they should be able to supplement it well. They have a plethora of backs. Uh, Rohan said expect to see another back. Hey, we might see Tevin Coleman. They might just have more running backs activated for this game. And not even go with the fullback. We don't have to go with a fullback. You can still line up a tight end in the backfield, as we're going to do with Ross Dwelly. You'll see. You'll see George Kittle back there, too. Yeah. It's going to be cool and interesting because I tell you what, Rohan, as we get into – as it is today is Rams week, as we get into this, we're going to start seeing Kyle Shanahan start – the team's going to play and come out a lot different. Uh, against this 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 particular team, and it's just it's just something that they do. It's something that at least you know we ask for consistency, right? At least we consistently consistency consistently know that Kyle Shanahan and his team will be ready for the Rams. It was only that one time that they lost by three points in the NFC Championship, and they were ready in that game. But then factoring all the pieces that they were missing, injured Trent Williams, injured Jimmy Garoppolo, this is that, and they still almost won. So I really think. I really, truly, duly think the 49ers will be prepared and they will get right against the Rams. That will be their bounce back game. And then, then, it's, then it's rest time. And then after that, all cards on deck. No, most definitely. Most definitely. I think I agree with you exactly there because the 49ers, this is a bad game. And this proves where what the 49ers are right now. Still think that they believe they're better than they are because they currently right now are not a good football team. They're three and three, but they have the potential to be a good football team. Three They've got to get it together. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I tried to make it sound bad, and it's even worse than I said. Wish That's we funny. were 500. We need to get to 500 this week. Yeah, you need – like, this win is imperative because you go into the bye week with a win. Coming back, you're facing a Charger team that has been okay this year, not really that good. And they – this is the good part about the 49ers schedule. As, as funny as it is, they kind of face the, the harder part right now because you're going to go into week eight, face the Rams, who are coming off a bye. That might be a tough game, but you've got to win at Levi South. Then you come, you go off the bye. You're going to face a Charger team who hasn't had their bye week yet. Their bye week is in week 11. Then you're you're going to face uh, in, the, in, in the ensuing weeks. It's really like home game, home game, home game, home game. You face the Cardinals in week 11, which is at Mexico City. Then you face the Buccaneers, you face the Dolphins, you face the New Orleans Saints, three straight home games. It's a bit of a favorable schedule going forward, but the 49ers need to get it together. They need to start executing a lot better. We, we, we highlighted several plays where there was one execution failure that really cost the 49ers on that play. And when these bad plays accumulate, the bad play after bad play after bad play, like we've been mentioning all stream, that's when the 49ers get out of rhythm. And Wayne gave us a great point at the beginning. The 49ers are good when Jimmy Garoppolo is able to operate in a rhythm. But when you get out of rhythm, when things spiral out of control, that's when you see the really, really bad of the 49ers. You need to stay in that rhythm. And to do so, you really need to execute. That's the big thing. That's it, man. And I know it sounds easy because it's one word and it starts it's execute, but look, we have the pieces, we have the talent. We're not going to argue with that, right? We're not going to argue that we don't have talent. But if the, if we have talent, and they can't execute. I mean, what's the point? And so they have to yeah. go out and execute. And it starts with the quarterback. And I'm going to need Jimmy to just. You know, there was one play that you mentioned, and I know I got to jump off here, but there was one play you said about Jimmy Garoppolo, and I'm saying to myself, dude, if he saw the stacked box this way, 
can run it the other way. Yeah. Can something tuna shit. Just run it that way. Anything. I say tuna. I don't know. I'm just saying he can't. He, he has you. to have some control. Yeah. And if he don't take no, it, you see, you see him run the alert alert to flip the play. Flip the play. That's it. Stand that's, the that's play. Flip it. the play. That's it. Flip it. Flip it. Listen, Rohan. Thank you so much for having me on, bro. This was this was amazing. Uh, I like doing these with you because I get your expertise, and I just get to simply sit there and just overreact. And just do me. Like that, I think it's the perfect combination. So it is. Great we we guys, I, I know I love Rohan it. One K guys. I don't it. care what Rohan says. Don't worry about me. We got to get him to one K. I need y'all to get him one K. He is seventy away from one K. Why is he not at one K? Let's go, guys. Like Wayne said, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button as well. I uh, greatly greatly appreciate it. And I love putting out content for all of you guys to watch for you guys to critique, for you guys to agree, all of that. But the biggest news, be sure to enter the Christian McCaffrey giveaway. That is on Twitter. I'm sending the link again in the description. Be sure to enter it. Get yourselves a chance to win a Christian McCaffrey jersey. So that will be coming out soon. I don't know when it'll, when I'll announce the winner. It'll either be sometime this week, or if I hit 1,000 soon, it'll be then. We're going to figure it out. But guys, make sure you subscribe to Wayne. Get that new channel up. The link has been up here a couple of times. Be sure to subscribe to Wayne. Get him back up because we're trying to get him to 750 so he can give away some extra fun stuff as well. And if he gets 1,000 by this week, you're seeing some more fun stuff as well. Get that subscriber button up. We're going to see it soon. But we'll catch you guys next time. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate you guys. All right.